uh, one man who's been very good with bat and ball for Hyderabad has been Moses Onriks and he takes us to match day match point number three. He's not been used as much with the ball. So let me rephrase and say it's maybe not been Moses Onriks bowling that's uh, been as effective. But he's been solid for them at number three. He's actually been pushed to number five in, uh, after Kane Williamson's inclusion to the side. Uh, what we like to know is uh, of Moses Onriks, Brad, is he's already scored more runs than he did in all of last season. Uh, 64, the, the average, he didn't get to bat as much last season with the way Warner was going and a strike rate of 141. The improvement of Moses Onriks as a player and where you think he would be best used given uh, Sunrisers now prefer playing Kane Williamson. 45 seconds steal. Uh, look, I, I, he's a very adaptable batsman and that's one thing that's grown in uh, Moses Onriks' game. But let's not forget, last year Darwin and Warner were getting them off to a good start. They averaged 122 as an opening partnership every game. So that really put pressure on that lower order where they had to come in and play from the start and be aggressive from the start. And that, that probably upset uh, someone like Moses Enriques who likes to have a couple of balls uh, to get in. But we saw the last game, he scored a, 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 a quick fire 30 yep. odd um, when he came in out the death there. So it just shows that he's adaptable. The thing is he plays cricket shots and when he goes after the bowling and he takes a risk, he takes a calculated risk putting the percentages in his favour, knowing that it's a shot that he's practised in the nets. Boom, off goes your buzzer. Thank you very much, Brad Hogg on Moses Enriques.